my channel. Today I'm going to be building a really simple modern house. It will still look really nice though. I'm here on this little wall that I've created. As you can see I've just put like all the blocks down that I would use to build with and uh, just so I can see what they look like to select my materials nicely. Over here I've got like a bit of a command station. These are just two command blocks. The one stops the weather, well stops it from raining so it's clear all the time and the other one <coughs> excuse me the other one makes it daylight all day long so we're going to get started with our build i'm just going to pick a random location i'm going to make this kind of like a world with roads and all sorts eventually this is only the first house though so we'll see how that goes so you're just going to choose whatever location wherever you choose to build it and i'm going to start by putting down one of these quartz blocks and we're going to move Eight blocks over including this one so one eight so that's eight blocks this is not going to be part of the house itself but you will need it eventually it's going to be like the little garage space so we'll just leave that over there well over the roof because there won't actually be a garage in this house so we're going to move two blocks over and then diagonally we're going to put one block over here Again, including this block, we're going to move 8 over. Okay, so that's 8 blocks this way. Then we're going to turn to the left. And we're going to put down 4 blocks. So I'm going to stop including this one. I'm just going to count from the block next. So, it's, well, okay. Let's go with the 5 blocks. It will be easier because when I show it from above just now, then it will make sense. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we're going to turn to the right and we're going to move eight blocks again, including this one. Eight. Then you're going to move to your left again. <laughs> and then we're going to put down one single block over here. So this is two blocks. And then to the right and we're going to face another eight blocks. One, two, three. Okay. So this is what you should have so far. It's not looking like much yet, but I promise you it will become something. So that's what we've got so far. We're going to come back down to this side over here. And we're going to go across 22 blocks, including this one. Okay, 22 blocks. Okay, so let's finish the rest of our house. From the back here, we're going to go across again 8, so it meets up with that. And then we're going to turn right over here, and we're going to go 5 across. Okay, so we've got 5 over here. Sorry, I just want to double check myself there. Then we're going to turn this way, and I believe we're going to go all the way across until we meet that point over there. So it's not a very big house, it's just a small one. Of course you can always take this, the, the house and just like expand onto it, so like add two blocks per side or scale it however you want it. But this is what we've got and this is what we're going to work with. So this is what it looks like from the top so far. Let's move back down over here. Okay, so now we're going to do this part of our house over here. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I think I wanna, what I want to start with is we're going to do the interior walls. Now I'm going to leave most of this to be open plan. Like the kitchen and the lounge and the dining room. But there are going to be two rooms, which I'm going to put on this side, one this end and one on that end. And um, a bathroom. So I'm going to use this block over here and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to go 9 across and then we're going to turn this way and we're going to finish it all. Just like that. Okay, then I'm going to move to the other side here. Sorry. My nerves okay and then i think what we're going to do is we're going to go 10 in that direction so it's five six seven eight nine ten okay 
you know what i think i'm gonna go one less because otherwise the bathroom is like tiny so we're gonna go that way and then we're gonna move and just close the room off now for the bathroom piece i think what i'm gonna do is instead of making it stop like end here i'm gonna go one block more this way so that will be the bathroom over there and this is what your build should look like once you're done placing your foundation now you could actually fill this out however i'm not going to fill in the bottom because i want to have a different floor in each room so kind of like make it look a little bit different but if you just want the same thing or you know what flooring you want you can just fill it out so you know what maybe it might be easier to start with that so what i'm going to do is i'm thinking now in the kitchen side i do want a different floor and in the lounge i want a different floor so okay you know what i'm going to leave it for now and we're going to move on with the rest of the board the next thing i want to do is i want to take this smooth cord slab and we're going to place it just in front here just like that there you go and then we're going to move back to our quartz block or our smooth quartz and we're going to place a block along here and we're going to go up six blocks i believe one two three four five six just like that and the same on the other side and we're going to take a smooth quartz slab and we're going to go right across just like that now this is going to be our main window well one of the main windows in this bowl and i'm going to use this these jungle planks and i'm just going to put them along here there you go and then along the top just like this now you can use something besides these i just wanted a wood texture in here and i decided to use this then I'm going to use the quartz and I'm going to come up along here. Okay, so we're going to move to the front. I'm, I'm going to complete the front of the house and then we'll fill in the back because most of the back is going to be the same. It's going to be quartz. So we're going to start over here. We're going to put six of these going up. And we're going to fill this in until there. Now I'm going to fill most of the walls in and then I'm going to put the windows in afterwards and you guys can do the same. I'm going to do that. Okay. Now in the front here I'm going to have a door so I'm going to leave two open and I'm going to put these across here like this and I'm going to leave that open because we're going to have windows there as well. The windows I ever will be decided on this part of the build over here so when I'm done with this then we'll see how high those windows are going to be. Now over here on this side I kind of want so I'm kind of thinking like a kitchen over here and then lounge area and dining room but I kind of want this piece over here to have these wooden planks so I'm going to put these going up this way I don't think these are going to be that high so I think I'm going to put them okay I think I've got them at five for now just like that and we're going to move over this way I think like four blocks okay so I'm just going to leave it like that now I think what we're going to do is we're going to work on the front so we can put in the door and I'm going to be using slabs for these but I'm not going to use the smooth quartz I'm going to use now I can't even spell I'm going to use the quartz slab because it's got like a nice texture on it and I'm going to put them four like that I think three is enough There we go, okay, so this is going to be our entrance steps. 
I'm just going to fill in these sides here. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'm going to come up these three steps right in here. And I do think I'm going to make this go down. Ooh. Okay. So that's going to be our entrance over here. There will be like sidewalk or whatever here. Okay, I think we're going to work on this part of the build next so that we can get the height of these windows and then we can work on the rest of the house because I think that's pretty simple. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go... I'm not going to go six high. I think... We want it to meet up around about here. Maybe double. Okay, so yeah, I think we want it to meet around about... Here maybe. So I'm just going to do that. Just like that. Ooh, I'm quite far in front. Okay, but anyway, I just want to see how high it needs to be. So, okay. So we'll have to go with that. And then this row can go bye bye, unless you guys want to make it longer. I won't be, and I'll be meeting this up just like this with you. Okay, so that's going to be our height. So it's going to be four, I believe. Well, an extra four. Three, four. Yeah, so it's going to be five in total. I'm going to leave a block open, and then I'm going to two full walls here, a block open, and then two full walls here again. And those will be five high. And then just one here and one there just like that so those are going to be open and then i'm going to do the same going along the cross so i'm going to fill that okay now i'm going to leave most of this open over here so i'm going to put an extra one and this is going to be filled up over here so you know just a bit of that like kind of skylight effect over here outside there you go so that's how that one's going to be and then we're going to have another one just over here so one there two I think over there and then all these in over here you go so that's what it's going to look like from the top and then from this side over here so now i think we can kind of decide on what what's going to be happening over here so i do want to have this come over here and then this is going to be windows that we're going to fill in and then i'm going to fill this up uh, I think I'm going to leave one open for glass panels. And then this here will be filled up as well. Now I do want this to be higher than the top, so I think we're going to move... I'm going to make this higher. Just like that. So that's how we're going to be doing that for now. And then we're going to go and get some glass, but I want the glass, the, these glass slabs as well. This is going to go above our door, just like that. And we're going to fill this in over here. Just like that. And you'll see if you close up here. There you go. And then this whole piece here is also going to have these glass panels. I hate putting these things down, but you know, I think we kind of got it over here. Whichever way is going to let you put them down best. There you go. And that's what the front of our house is looking like so far, guys. Is looking pretty good, pretty modern. As modern as you can get. 
Okay, so we want to work on the floor inside the house or do we want to work on the walls? The walls we can do so long. We're pretty much just going to level them all out. So the walls will be leveled out with this over here. Pretty much just fill all the walls out so i'm going to do that and when i'm done i'll be back with you guys okay guys so i am back and i just wanted to show you guys what i'm going to do here so we've got this wood and i decided what i'm going to do is i'm just going to fill this in here with the white and this piece in front here i'm going to level up with this over here And there you go okay so that is the front of our house completed now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in the floors so i'm going to come over here to my little section and i'm going to decide which floors i want now i do think that i should go with like kind of a wooden floor feel so this is the one i believe i'm using let's see jungle planks yes so we're just going to replace something here what can we replace um Let's go with this one. I don't think I'm using that right now. So we're going to use that one over there. And then for the rooms, I'm thinking maybe we go with like a lighter one. So maybe this one over here. So I'm going to use that. I'm just going to come over here. And now the thing is, I do also kind of want to separate the kitchen. But I haven't fully decided yet where I'm going to put each thing yet. So I'm just going to fill this whole, ooh, wrong one, this whole room out with the, this flooring. And then I'm going to fill, I'm going to make a hole over here. I think I'm going to do it pretty close here. And make it three high because I'm going to put these glass things over here. And then the bathroom, I think I'm going to come on this one over here. And this room, I'm also going to be close. I actually think I should try and go this side rather. And do it. Oof. really hate it when you come in like right next to the wall. I don't know why, it just it annoys me. I'm going to go with it here, and then we're just going to fill this over here. Okay, so that's where our door is going to be. This room over here is going to have this one. This room on this side is going to have the same. And I'm kind of making sure that all of the wood goes in the same direction. And then the bathroom, I'm going to give the chiseled blocks okay so that's how I'm laying it out I'm gonna fill these floors in and then I'll be back with you guys in a moment okay everybody I am done placing our floors so as you can see I've got that in there got the lighter ones in there and the chiseled floor there I will replace some of this in here <coughs> with with some chiseled floor as well I was not ever thinking about it and I think I kind of want to add like a study to this house so I think I'm going to divide up this room a little bit and I think I'm going to have the study here on this side with this wooden wall and that might help me with my solution well with my problem when it comes to the kitchen so I can put a kitchen in over there dining room here and then a lounge over here they're going to be pretty small but this is a small build and uh, it might be bigger if you guys scale it up so I'm going to add walls in here and um, if you don't want to do this you don't have to you can always leave it open plan I'm going to put walls in though I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it four so I'm going to have one two but now what I do want to do is I think I'm going to go with, through with this grey wall in here to give it like that firstly accent wall and also so there isn't such a big divide because you, could you imagine just this wall ending here and then there's white it just wouldn't look right I'm going to add one, two, leave a space for the door, and I'm going to add one, and then I'm going to add another one, and I'm going to close this up over here. And again, like that. Word. Okay. Ooh, okay. But I am thinking this wall needs to actually be white, so I'm going to go with the chiseled stone over here. Sorry, not the chiseled stone the smooth quartz just like that ok 
Okay. Most of my house is going to be pretty simple, pretty the same. Just put that back. And over here, I'm going to have one, two, one. You know what? I'm going to have one. And then I want to go across. I'm going to go across here. Just like that. Okay, I think I'm done using this now, these glass panels now, except you know what? I kind of want to make another door at the back here. But I'm trying to decide whether I should put it on the opposite side or on the same side. I'm thinking maybe on the same side, so just break a hole in here, put these up there, so there's a door entrance here, and I want to put a door entrance in this room as well. So I'm just gonna make one I think on this side. Just like that. There you go. So this room will go out to the backyard. I'm not gonna make a really big backyard, guys. There won't be like a pool or anything. This is just a tutorial <laughs> or a quick simple build. Okay, let's finish closing this up. Now, the nice thing about having really high walls is it kind of makes it easier for you to do like lighting and that kind of thing because you have enough space to fill up and then you kind of like double double it up so that if you have another floor it makes it easier to have like a thicker floor so that you can still work underneath here and have something different okay now we need to decide which doors we're going to be using so let's have a look and see on my texture pack this is what the doors look like so i am thinking of maybe using an oak door for the the normal all the rooms and then i kind of want the jungle door for my main entrance and i'm not sure about the back entrance i'm trying to decide maybe this one like this one's really nice but i feel like the colors are a little bit too different for the outside so maybe we'll go with that one or i might just go with these same doors but i feel like this is more of like a kind of a front door kind of effect so i'm gonna have that one here i'll be filling up with this one on the, over here on the inside it's fine like that now do keep in mind i'm going to replace this so i think because the doors are going to be on the outside so i'm going to replace these with the whatever flooring is inside here oh i've got rid of that one just make sure it's placed the right way you are fine because i already did that and you Okay, so now the only thing to decide on is the door over here. So I've got this one. Uh, I do want it to open from this side. So there's this one over here, which actually doesn't look too bad. I think it actually looks quite nice. So I'm going to keep that one. And I'm going to stop you. Remove this. Because I do want you to be on the outside. So we're going to do that. There you go. So that over there is done. Out here, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to make you, you, uh, actually I'm going to make like a patio over here. Of course, they won't actually be able to, nothing will really be able to go on here. So you might want to decide whether you'll have this and just have nothing on it or whether you will not have it at all and just have steps coming down. But I'm not going to put anything out here, so that's fine and I suppose I also need to put doors here and I think I'm just gonna go with the same ones just so that it kind of like matches okay now I'm gonna go for the glass panel glass pane and we're just gonna fill this up over here this kind of looks like an archway into the kitchen and now that I know this is going to be my kitchen, I can replace this. With these. Okay. 
so that's our floors done our walls done you got yours might look like this or it might not have that over there okay so the next thing that i want to do is fill in the roof now these walls are going to go right up they're literally going to come all the way up here that I'm gonna fill this in over here with slabs so this whole side is gonna have these slabs okay so what I'm gonna do is this side is gonna be filled with slabs I'm only gonna do this side over here this side is going to be filled you know what I'm gonna fill the whole top with slabs so I'm gonna do that and I will be back with you guys when I'm done Okay, I'm done filling in the roof. The next thing I want to do is I just want to complete this. So we're skipping one. I'm just breaking these over here. Oh, actually, I think these do need to stay. It's these that I'm breaking. And this will just come right across here. mirror it on the other side now I could break this wall out here and make this whole piece this grey as well actually and I think I'm going to do exactly that you guys don't need to but I'm going to break this out so that gives it an accent for the back as well that is the whole building built but now we need to add some nice accents to this building over here so if we come in the entrance this is what we've got I don't think the space is too bad actually it's pretty good but now I want to add some windows in that so I'm going to be using the smooth quartz slabs okay for the kitchen I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one two three gonna break okay so I think what I need to do is I need to put in some windows I'm gonna come in here I mean look how bloody dark it is in here let's just break some of these out now you keep in mind this roof is gonna come down quite a bit I'm gonna break these I'm even gonna break this yeah I'm just gonna break right open but I will not be using any window panels. I'm just going to go to the slabs. But I still can't spell right. I'm going to take jungle plank. Well, the jungle planks. Then I'm going to make a line there. It's going to be like that. I'm going to fill this up. And then I'm going to have this come across over here. So what I want to make sure of now is I'm going to just close that one up and just make them one in. So the window is going to wrap around just like that. Pretty happy with that. I think it looks good. I'm going to move on to the next room. Now the kitchen, all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hole going around here. I'm also not going to put any window slabs in but I'm going to leave it as a larger window. So that's going to go around like that. And that's perfectly fine just as it is. I'm going to leave it like that. In the room over here, I'm thinking I'm also just going to use the quartz slabs. Do the same thing I did inside the... In this room, I'm going to do the same thing I did inside the study. So that gives it a nice piece over here. Break this and make this one a bigger. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. And the bathroom. Oh gosh, it's dark in here. Um, okay, wrong one. I'm breaking those two. That's going to be a window here. I'm just going to leave it like that. 
sometimes the panels don't always look so nice like i i feel like if the in this texture pack in any way if these were like bars were not here it would look so much nicer in this room i'm only going to do it on this one side over here wrong row it's these ones and i think i'm gonna do that but i kind of want to make it look so i close those two and close those two and make it look like that i think that's good okay so those are windows it's already lit it up in here quite nicely this side is supposed to have the same as on that side uh, so now i need the glass panels because you know I can't just be leaving this open there you go so that's the back that's the front they're just mirrored and all the windows are in now I kind of want to work on the build before I work on the interior because I feel like some people probably aren't watching to see me decorate the inside and I won't put that on camera in any way. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the outside wall. Now for this I'm going to be using, let's just remove some of this stuff. I'm going to be using that, so I'm going to be using that. And we'll be needing lanterns. So this is what I got. I'm going to come over here and we're going to see where's a good spot. So I'm going to go two away from here, I think. No, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So it's one, and then it's one, two, three, four, and then five. And then there's a wall going up, and it will go up to three, I believe. Because we're going to fill these in like that. And one over there. Just like that. And on top here, there's going to be a lantern. So that is what it's going to look like, and it's going to go all the way around. So that's one. Two, three, well, one, two, three, four, and then another tower or pillar. And I'm going the wrong direction here. And fill it up with the lantern on top. And the same again, one, two, three, four, and that's how it's going to be all the way around. So I'm going to be doing that quickly. And then I'll be back with you guys in a moment to show you where I've ended it and where I haven't I'm gonna pretty much gonna go all the way around here huh? and I'm gonna come over this side but I'm going to end it somewhere around here because I, I want the front to be open so it's not gonna be like a completely closed off yard but you guys are welcome to do that if you want to and uh, yeah so I'm gonna finish that so long I'll be back with you guys now Okay guys, so I'm finished. This is what my house is looking so like. This is what my house is looking like so far. And uh, if you go around here, as you can see, the wall comes out. And I've made it come out. So if you hear one extra, so this is the yard. It's nothing huge. And it goes out one whole one here as well. And I've kind of ended it over here. If I was, I'd probably end it somewhere here but I ended it here I think that's best it's just because if I ended it here the windows were in the way and I didn't want to cover them up so that's where what I've done I am kind of thinking though I'm going to take it to about here and I want to make like a, a gateway to like come in the side here so I'm gonna do that quickly and then I'll be back with you Okay, so I've done the changes, I moved it back, and then I've put like a gate in here, so it looks like that. And there you go. So that's what it's looking like so far. Now I'm going to do a bit of decorating, I'm not really going to do it on camera, I'm just going to like decorate the house and I'm going to show you guys what the final product look like, looks like, and you guys can obviously decorate it however you want. So I hope you guys enjoy what I'm going to do and yeah, let me get to that. Ok 
Hey everybody, so I'm back. I'm done kind of decorating a little bit. As you can see, I've got some trees up. Got some lanterns and some flowers. I did just use bone meal to put some grass and that down. I wasn't going to go all out and decorate it, but I did just want it to look a little more textured, you know. So we're going to go to the inside. I put in a driveway over here, so the car can park underneath there. And this is just a bit of a sidewalk, and then I put a path going into the back gate over there, which doesn't work because my tree's grown over it. So I think I'll just do like a curved path here, which might actually work better. There you go. Okay, there's a path over there. Let's pull that in. Okay, it's just like a side path going there. So we're going to get going into our house. So this is our lounge. I didn't have a lot of space to work with, but I tried to make it look good in any way. Kind of just used these trap doors to go there as like a cupboard. This is what my couch looks like. It's nothing fancy. In the dining room, I've just kind of put this over here as a table. I wasn't going to like, you know. Then in the kitchen, I've got this area over here. It made like a little kind of tried to make like a fridge kind of thing. Um, <coughs> okay. Oh, you know, I forgot the, the study. But you know what? You guys can do what you want in that little room if you have it. In the bathroom here, I've just got my basin. I don't know why my banners do this, but maybe somebody can tell me why because it's very annoying. A little toilet. A shower over here then in this room over here we've got a big bed double bed there uh, there's pillows now okay I didn't like over decorate or anything like that I did start like that in the first room I thought there were a few ideas I wanted to show you guys so if we go in here you'll see the first room I put in this accent wall so on the texture pack I'm using the terracotta has like patterns on it so I've used this pattern over here. I've got a little desk over here with my computer. A single bed over here. I've just used these as like a decoration piece. And then I do this often in my builds. I put rods here. Now you can see my end rods are... Um, they glow, which is quite cool in this texture pack. And then I take the banners and I put them in from the bottom up. So it kind of looks like curtains that slide. And I've even got them up inside that little piece over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now with the roof, you can see I've got the lights like this. So all I've done is I've put one full block and then a slab. And then I've put the beacons in like that. And the same around most of the house except here about the dining room table. I just used the rods. And then the kitchen I used these rods as well with some fences and some of those... Um, sides and yes yeah, so that is that can go out the back here hate let me put that jumping thing off and there you go so i'm going to take a bit of a rotate around the house so you guys can see what it looks like all around And that's my build guys the nice thing about modern builds is it's just very blocky and that so it's so easy to actually make things look modern it's just about using the right kind of textures i think so i hope you guys enjoyed this build and i really enjoyed building it please like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys again soon bye guys